So I am back home in Tennessee after all of my traveling, you know, to California to close up my office and then to Dallas to speak at a conference. And it's spring. Things are starting to look really pretty outside again. We've got leaves on the trees and um, some things that were in my raised garden bed are just started to regenerate on their own. Um, but I'm going to try some more gardening again um, this time, see how successful I am. Last time squash did really well. I had about eight or nine spaghetti squash and about eight or nine yellow squash that had grown. And then I had cilantro. Um, I had a few jalapenos, but Gar said they weren't hot enough, so not to replant those. And then um, I had planted some hot peppers and we got a few of those off the plant before it got cold. Um, but anyway, this time I'm going to try a few more things and I've learned about trying to use some kitchen scraps to also start your garden and then of course have some seeds. So let me just show you what I've started so far. So I have here, I cut some radishes, stuck those in water. I've got celery and some romaine as you can see is just starting uh, to flower there and then some onions which they said would look brown um, just sitting out but it's okay and we'll check the roots on those. And then I just put in today, this is gonna be beans and there's some carrots in there. So they said to soak them in water first um, for like a day and then probably put them in a baggie in a paper towel um, for a couple days to see if they sprout and then plant. So anyway, this is what I've got going on so far. So I am outside doing some more gardening. Uh, this year, my oregano, again, is growing pretty well. Um, I've got some cilantro growing, and I've just recently planted some garlic and onions, so we'll see what happens with those. And then I'm trying carrots and beans. I first put them in a wet paper towel, tried to see if they would sprout. Um, then I put it in like a little egg carton. Uh, to plant the seeds in a little bit of soil and now I just transplanted it and I'm not sure if the soil is going to be good enough um, for it or not but I'm going to try but let me just show you what I've done okay so this is just right by our steps here coming down from the back door so right now it's in the shade um, but it does get a lot of sun in the morning so I just dug up this area put in some all-purpose you know growing soil or whatever just to see if it could make it a little less clay filled I guess I don't know but I'm just gonna see what happens I did plant spaghetti squash seeds uh, in two places last week or two weeks ago now I can't remember and those have started sprouting I also had some romaine lettuce um, the basically the core that I had bought from the grocery store and also the base of celery that I had bought at the grocery store that I planted. Those seem to be doing well um, too. And then I wasn't sure how our elderberry bushes were going to do. It looked like they were dead from what I had tried to, tried to plant last year from some sticks that were provided to me. But it looks like three of them actually are doing well. So one of these days when I go back down there, I'll grab some video of that too. So I'm outside and I want to grab some video of some things that are happening now with my garden. Again, I am a total newbie. I don't really know everything that I'm doing. Um, but just to document, you know, kind of what's going on. And then if you are experienced and you have tips, like for sure, let me know. This flower I actually got by going to a networking event. They actually had flowers for everyone as centerpieces and so I'm not even sure what kind of flower that is um, but I planted it in a bigger pot and hopefully that will take and then these planters I actually had um, some flowers in last year that were annuals that wouldn't come back and so I thought I would try uh, planting some things in there too so I put a few beans um, in each of these two as well and then in this one I planted some strawberries and hopefully that will take off again I've never really grown strawberries or beans um, but we'll see what happens okay I'm back to the 
garden over here, the raised garden bed, and you can see the oregano is doing really well. Um, at first, I wasn't sure that was even going to take. I had planted the oregano and nothing really happened last summer, um, but towards like the end of the year, it started sprouting, and then when it was getting cold, and even when we had snow on here, I wasn't sure um, that it would survive, but it survived and it's doing really well. You can also see we have cilantro that's kind of gone all over the place. I think last year I let it um, go to seed a little bit, so I guess it dropped some seeds. Um, so I think I only had one or two plants, but you can see it's kind of in the garden bed in a few places. There's something else growing right here. I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, I will wait and see. Um, and then I did plant recently um, some other things. It looks like I might have some greenery starting to pop out. So we'll see what happens here. Um, but there's a few different little leaves there. And then I planted two bulbs of garlic. So you can see one here. And then there's one back there. And I just decided to stick one in there and see what happens. And then this one was a hot pepper plant from last year that I actually dug up, took inside, um, and then I brought it back out here. I'm not sure if it's going to survive the transplant. It's not looking all that healthy right now, but who knows? We'll see. It's still been a little bit chilly, and maybe in the summertime when it's warmer, maybe it will do better. Um, but I thought I would try. What's the worst that can happen is that I try and it doesn't work. And then here's another plant. I'm not sure again what it is because a few things I planted last year and they never grew. So I'm wondering if some of these things maybe were that. I think I had planted some radish seeds and um, I actually don't remember everything that I planted in here but a lot of it didn't grow. And then here is an onion that I planted a bulb from. I did try uh, recently, here's another couple. You can see the onions that I had planted. I bought bulbs. I originally tried um, by cutting an onion and planting that, but that didn't really seem to work. So uh, we'll see. And then I'm gonna walk over to a few more places that I have some things growing. I'll be right back. So last year I had thrown some spaghetti squash seeds into the compost and then it ended up just growing on its own. Um, and so when I was going to use the last of the spaghetti squash um, and cooking it, I took out the seeds and then thought, well, I'll try planting it again, see what happens since I had success last year. Um, but I wasn't sure exactly where I should try to plant it so that it would take. And so I planted it in a couple different places. So let me show you what I have. Okay, so in here I just made a little patch again. Um, and you can see I need to take the time to kind of get some of the grass and other plants away from it. But you can see that I've got two different seedlings that are starting to sprout. And I probably will just have to remove one so only one will grow because it does kind of take over everything. Um, but again, I was kind of happy to see that it's actually taking off. I'll walk over to where I have another one planted. Okay, here is another one that I planted a few of the seeds. You can see I've got a couple growing, but one looks like it's starting to get eaten up. So I probably will just pull that one out and see what happens from there. Um, but so far, so good. And... I actually wasn't sure if this was going to take off or not, so I planted it in a couple other places. One, I just threw some seeds in the compost again. I wasn't sure if it would take, but, um, you know, I just thought, why not try? And we'll see what happens. And then I did plant some in a planter on my porch as well, so I'll grab that in just a few minutes. Um, but I have something else I want to grab before I head to the front. Okay, so here I actually planted some things from the kitchen. This is celery, and I had cut off the bottom core, planted it, and thought, well, I'll just see what happens. It seems to be doing pretty well leaf-wise. And then this one is romaine. Again, I just cut off the bottom, planted it, just thought I would see what happens. I am not sure what this plant is right here. Um, it's got a stem, so obviously... Uh, that was not one thing I planted. Um, I'm going to see, maybe with a Google image, what it looks like um, and see. 
I was hoping that it might have been an elderberry plant as well that I did try planting some of that last year. Most of them didn't take, um, and I didn't plant that here in this area, but I don't know. We'll see if I can figure out with the Google images what this is. I may just need to pull it out because maybe it's going to damage the plants. Um, but again, I don't know anything. I'm just here to learn. <laughs> so um, we'll see how this continues to grow. Okay, so this is one of the sticks of elderberry that I planted last year. I actually thought everything had died. It all looked you know, pretty much dead. You can even see on the top, it just looks dead. The stick looks dead, but we've got some nice, nice leaves coming out. So hopefully that's actually uh, the elderberry plant. And I have a few more that are also growing. Once again, I have to look, you can see how tall this grass is. Um, it's actually hay, I guess. And a neighbor said that there's somebody um, that would like to come and mow our area and our neighbors and take away the hay which would be really nice because he'll do us a favor we don't have a have a mower right now and so it would benefit us to have it cut and it would benefit him because he'd be able to take it but here is the second plant and again it, to me it looked like it was dead based on that stick it just looked like it wasn't doing anything but we've got some leaves coming out and i have one more that seem to have taken and survived through the winter. Let me just find that spot, because once again, I'm walking through tall grass. Oh, here we go. Tall plants. So that one has quite a few leaves. So I was actually really excited to see that those survived. So I have one more thing I want to show you. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm on my front porch. I had a couple planters here too that just had, last year, I think this one had basil. I hadn't actually had anything in this one, but when we moved in, it had like artificial plants. So I pulled those out. Once again, I would planted a romaine stem. And then I think I might've planted a radish. That might be a radish. What had happened was I actually was trying to cut off the ends of the radish and see if it would grow. So I'm not sure if that's actually what that was or not. The radishes didn't really do much. I was kind of disappointed. I thought maybe it would take off. Um, so I'm not sure actually what that is, but I'm gonna wait and see. <laughs> and then in this one, just yesterday or the day before, I actually planted those strawberries in each corner here too to see what might be better? Is it better here in the front where maybe it doesn't have sun all day? Or is it better in the back in that planter where it's gonna have sun more? Again, I'm so new at all of this. I'm just learning. So I'm not sure if that will even take off. And then over here is where I threw the rest. Well, not even all the rest, but some of the seeds from the spaghetti squash because I hadn't seen anything sprouting yet in the dirt in the backyard. And I thought, well, let me just see what happens. And now you can see I have quite a few. So obviously if I keep any of them here, I would have to take some out because there are just way too many plants here uh, to survive. And as much as these grow and spread, I would have spaghetti squash everywhere. Um, but anyway, I am actually having some success with the spaghetti squash seeds. So I have a few more things I also want to plant, see how I do with those. But I'm going to be gone. I leave in about a week and a half for about four days. So before I plant anything else, I'm just going to wait to come back, which is actually good timing because it would be kind of the third week of May, supposedly, you know, past the threat of frost. And then I could plant some seeds in the ground. So I may try carrots, just direct sowing, um, probably yellow squash again that we had last year that we were actually successful at that. Um, and a few other things I might try. Um, I did buy some broccoli and Brussels sprouts and things like that too, which would need to be planted a little bit later in the season. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> it's just, there's a lot to do when you're gardening and with my job and running the company, you know, there's just so much to do, but I am enjoying having some space to garden and just see, you know, what am I good at and what am I not so great at and what can I learn right each year? We'll learn something else. Um, we do have our trees planted as well. 
Um, the apple trees and the persimmon trees seem to have some leaves already growing. Um, the other ones, I don't know if they're dead or they're just slower to leaf out. Um, so I'll have to check on that soon. Um, but the, the pear, no, we didn't get pear. Garth didn't want pear. Plum, peach, and cherry. Those right now really aren't showing any leaves. So again, I don't know if they just didn't survive because it was cold and snowy or if I just didn't water enough or water too much. I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully when I check on those soon, those will be doing well. All right, that's it for now.